I can do more. I can do more. Hello everybody, welcome to Mike's Mike. My name is Mike and yes, I do look like a little bit of a clout priest and that puts me in a weird position because really shouldn't be judging people based on how I look at the moment, but that's exactly what we're doing today. Mm -hmm. So like a grade 12 essay, who, what, when, where, why, who, Love Island. <laughs> what? How do you like your back, sweetheart? I'm bored of this. My understanding of Love Island, it's kind of like Bachelor Survivor. Like if you mix the two together, it's people picking each other like Bachelor in Paradise, but then you pick people and if someone doesn't get picked, they get kicked. I keep seeing memes about Love Island on Twitter and I want to be involved. I want to know who these people are. And the first step of that is judging them based off one picture and 25 words, obviously. Alrighty, I googled Love Island contestants and thank you Cosmopolitan, and thank you Dusty Baxter Wright for doing all the work for me. Already, everyone needs to calm down. One of 20, 27, we'll see how we go. Francesca Allen, she's 23, she's from Essex and she's a clothing store manager. Well, I mean, she's a clothing store manager. I know quite a lot of the TOWIE cast. Was I made to do this video in a British accent? Yes, are British people gonna be mad? Yes, and I'm not sorry about it. Is she wearing a velour bathing suit? We are the same age. I feel like a fucking toddler. Francesca looks like if she was at Macca's and she was ordering a sundae, she would order it with the strawberry sauce as opposed to chocolate or caramel. I don't, don't ask me why, but I just know that that's a fact. Chris Taylor, 28. That's a very white name coming from me, a very white person. How would you rate your looks on a scale of one to 10 and what would you say your best feature? My best feature is my brows. Okay, we're gonna have to investigate that. I really like my eyebrows. Sometimes I get stick for them, but I don't care because I really like them because I can move them around. There's a whole lot there to discuss. The eyebrows are like fun, but they're not like standout. I would say that quiff is pretty good. Like my eyebrows are dramatic. I actually have eyebrow dandruff. I just saw it in the mirror before and I was like, what the fuck is happening there? But anyway, he has nice teeth too. He could have, the eyebrows are not the best bit, mate. Move on. The perfect guy to me is someone who will give their all in a relationship and someone who has got a bit of banter and who is selfless. 22, again, like, I'm 23, look at me, and then look at her. We're not on the same level. Is there gonna be a lot of neon swimsuits in here? Neon swimsuits actually give me anxiety. I'm getting anxious looking at this picture. Belle Hassan, 21, again, same shit. From Bromley, she's a makeup artist. My dad's an actor. He's been in the football factory, the business, Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones? Um, fact check. Is that, is that velour again? Is that like a fucking suede? I can't even call that a bikini top. What the fuck is that? This is, I'm, no. <laughs> Marvin Brooks, 29, personal trainer and ex-Royal Navy officer. Of course he's a personal trainer. I don't want the whole ass essay. I can't tell if he's grabbing his shorts or if they're like naturally creased that heavily. Someone's been doing a lot of sitting. Anyway, he looks like this guy at my gym who like always like yells when he's like lifting weights. He's like doing, he's like, Ugh! and I'm like, no. George Rains. Are these all the same person? Age 22. I look like a Cruskit. Look at me. I look like a ghost from Luigi's Mansion. What's your definition of bro code? That term makes me want to scream. Bro code is having a strong bond with your boys. This is intimidating. I feel intimidated. I feel like you just called me a nerd. OV Soko, 28 London, professional basketball player. How do you rate your looks? I feel like I'm an eight, but an international eight. Ooh. Some people call themselves a 10, but you can be a 10 in one place and go to the opposite side of the world and be a four. Wow, that's true. My best feature is my personality. I'm just a vibe and people like being around my energy. See, compare this answer with my best features, my eyebrows, like, like he has good eyebrows too, but he didn't say that. These are all really good looking people and I'm starting to understand why this show was a thing. Jordan Hames, 24. He's a model from Manchester. Does that count as neon? Is this neon swimwear? I'm gonna say no, just like benefit of the doubt, but you're on thin ice. Maura, Moira, Maura Higgins, 28, country Longford, Ireland. Ireland, I can't do an Irish accent. Can I? No, I can't. Model and grid girl. What's a grid girl? Okay. What's your definition of girl code? Oh my God. What's this? Is this like the model pose, like the, Hang on, how's she doing this? She's grabbing this, like that. But then this hand is like really like relaxed and this one's like that. So she's like, I'm gonna get a smile. Ow, I just split my lip. 
Molly May Haig, 20. Social media influencer, girl, same. How do you rate your looks? I have a lot of followers on social media. Do I need to read the rest of this? So I guess I have to be a little bit above average looking to get followers. Girl, what? She has 2 million followers, okay. That's still, but like, I have a lot of followers on social media. Like, why start with that? That's... Can I say conceited? Anyway, it's another neon bathing suit, so we're gonna move right along. Is this the same person, just in a different bathing suit? Lucy Donlan, surfer. The last guy I was with was Charlie from last year's Love Island. We got together a few weeks after he came out of the villa. That's your claim to fame. Surely there's something with surfing. But I mean, go off, I guess. And at least like you did something new. Is that a belt? She's giving me Taylor Swift in 2009. <laughs> 2009. This is giving me I'm relatable and she's a surfer so she can help if we get stuck in high seas. Michael Griffiths. There's whoa there's so much happening here. How would you rate your looks? They're really setting them up with these questions aren't they? People seem to be obsessed with my lips. Controversial opinion. I hate the word lips. <laughs> like if I hear the word lips I'm like oh Okay, I'm really confused about the pose. Like, was he like, I will do this pose, or they're like, do this pose? Just to, like, I'm trying to visualize someone doing that pose without being provoked. I'm getting really bold here talking about people like, as if I don't look like this. I look like fucking Scepter Mordain from Game of Thrones. Anna is a pharmacist from London. Pharmacist. That requires brains, so we stand automatically. Honestly, I'm looking at this photo and all I can see are those nails because they remind me of the City Girls edits of Chris Evans. Big Birkin bag, whole five, six figures. Air dry. <laughs> is that a location? Air dry. That's where my washing lives, in air dry. Congrats on owning the gym. How? Amber Gill, 21, beauty therapist. You have to say 10 because you have to back yourself. Positivity, whoa. But it's another fucking neon swimsuit. Can we do something new? Curtis Pritchard, 23 from Shropshire, ballroom Latin dancer. That's fun. Dumped Islander. Oh, that means they've gone home. <laughs> I don't think I fall in love easily. And it shows, because he got dumped. Jordan Rian, instant appreciation because she's not wearing neon. I fancy the Hemsworth brothers. I can't pick between the two. There's actually three. Oh. Oh no. That sucks for the third one. He's not even mentioned in the count. Dump, dumpled. Dumpled Islander, Tom Walker. He's a model. I'm fun and energetic. I tend to get on with boys and girls. I'm a people person. Dumpled Islander. What the, what is that? Why? Why does it say Dumpled Islander? Arabella Chi. That seems like a fake name. What's your real name, Arabella? Mirabella? Isn't that a cheese? Dumpled, dumpled fucking every single time. Yawanda Biala? I know I got that wrong. She's 23. She's from Dublin. She's a scientist. Scientist, yes ma'am. Yes, ma'am, we love education. The ladies are really pulling it through here. Dumpled Islander, Elma Pada. She's 26, she's from Essex, she's an eyelash technician. Eyelash technician, what the hell is that? And my best feature is my ears. My ears? Ears? My earlobes are in a perfect position for a nice pair of earrings. Why, like, what? Out of all the, like, you can only put 25 words in this shit and you put three as ear. Last one, Dumpled Islander, Joe Garrett. How do you like your back, sweetheart? He's 22, he's from London. He owns a catering company. How are these people owning businesses? I'm looking for a connection. You needed a connection, obviously didn't happen because you got dumpled. I just can't believe he's 22 and he owns a catering company. Can we, like, is there an explanation there? To summarize, these people seem like perfect reality TV contestants because they're all ridiculous. And I gotta say, there is more diversity than Australian reality TV, which just looks like a pack of chips. Am I gonna watch this show? I think I might. That brings me to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. If you got something to say, leave a comment. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. I am getting close to 5,000 subscribers, which is a scram brulee. I'm gonna go moisturize my dandruff eyebrows, but thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you all soon. A peace out. Bye-bye.